Hello commanders, uh, welcome to another video of mine. Uh, this one's going to be an instructional video as you probably noticed from the title screen that just came on. Now we're going to go through how to personalize your HUD. Now I'm personally, I'm, I'm colorblind, I'm red green colorblind and for at least the first few playing this game I lived with the standard default orange and red color scheme of the HUD and the scanners etc like that. Now the trouble is I find it really difficult to discern the differences between colors on this scanner. I can't tell if these are all green or all orange or, or whatever. Um, uh, uh, any of you that have seen my previous videos see that uh, I'm used in a blue uh, color scheme by HUD and that changes uh, friendlies to a, a, like, to a no, green Friendlies are still green. Uh, unknown, uh, you know, not unfriendlies, but unknowns are like a light blue. And I believe the um, unfriendlies come up as as purple. I believe. If, I, all I know is I can discern the difference between all three. I don't need to know what colour it is because I can see there's a. Who so, uh, you know, me on that? But. Um, I'm just going to go through the video on this video on how to change your HUD. I'm going to go through how to change it to a totally personalised using a fantastic website, um, rq.com slash elite slash HUD underscore editor. I will have it on screen shortly uh, and I'll put the, uh, the URL in the description of the video. So, uh, first off, there's a few little bits of sort of housekeeping bits. Make sure we can access the file you need to edit. Don't need to know any uh, coding, any XML knowledge really. Uh, I don't have any. I've just followed instructions that I found online. I'm putting this video up for quite a few comments. Um, but well, why not get out there for you guys? So, first port of call is to get rid of Minimo. Okay, so you got your desktop here. Apologise for my uh, crap on the screen here. You want to go down to Control Panel, and then you want to go to Personalization. Now, if your Control Panel doesn't look like this, you may well have it set up like this. In which case, you need to go to Appearance, Personalization. All right. Um, now you'll come up. Go to the Appearance and Personalization. This, this screen here, go to folder options, show hidden files and folders, and all these bits here. This section here, hidden files and folders, you want to make sure this little tab here, show hidden files, folders, and drives, that's clicked on. Little tab is in there. All right, so click OK. If you're look at on the other one, I've got mine set up. You just want to go to personalization, tools, folder options, and then you get the same thing up. But either way, you'll get to the same thing and it will achieve the same result. Okay, so now we've got that set up, go to Chrome screen here. Now, the the URL you want is up here. Okay, so then I'll put it in the description below. This is a fantastic website. I, I forgive me, I can't find the guy who's made it. Oh, here you go. You know, made by Kimo Lovizi. All right, absolute what a legend. I mean, the, the elite community is fantastic. I mean, this guy has obviously done this off his own back, and uh, a really, really good bit of kit. And with these sliders here, you can change pretty much every aspect and the little screens here give you a little heads up to what's going on. Uh, so you can change the... It's doing all this, sort of, every, every little slider does something different. Now, personally this doesn't work because of my colour blindness and I still find it really difficult to find something that works perfectly. For me. So I'll show you what I use my setup and that's the simplest thing, the actual color matrix you require in the folder, uh, sorry, is in the XML file that you're actually going to edit. But, 
If once we've found a colour scheme that you like, I'm not saying I like this colour scheme, but we'll go with it right now. The colour matrix that you've decided on, changing all these sliders, if you see this colour color matrix here, down on the left, this changes the sliders. What you've got to do, highlight that, copy it. Right, so you've got that in your clipboard now. And then we next want to go to File Explorer. Well, this is, is the bit that uh, I think some people are sort of apprehensive about, but please don't. It's really easy and can't really mess it up because all you've got to do is validate your game files, which I'll go through after the event. And uh, there you go. So, um, I don't know if you remember, but as I flip back to here, you can see I've got this standard um, default orange color scheme. And then uh, we'll go back into File Explorer. You want to go to your local, your, your C drive, or wherever your user you know, uh, documents are, user's drive, or a folder. Go into that, go into your uh, username, and you'll see all the bits here, you'll see app data. Now it's slightly sort of light, it's greyed out a little bit, because that was a hidden folder. But so if you've gone through the uh, step previously, you'll see it's now visible. You go into that, go into local, scroll down until you find frontier underscore. Okay, the other one isn't what you want, the underscore developments one. Double click into that. You want to go into products, and then you want to go into whichever this force fdev one we may well have a public test server one uh, but uh, most of us almost all well, all players love this one here so you go into here and the xml file you're after graphics configuration file right click on this go down to edit now you'll see a whole pile of gobbledygook gobbledygook for me but uh, obviously there's Plenty of you out there that know exactly what you're looking at here, but uh, you want to scroll down to GUI color, graphic user interface color. Now, this one here, oh, not that bit, this bit here, matrix that you're going to copy and paste over. So, previously I copied that matrix from the website, uh, the HUD editor website that Arku created. So. I'm going to just highlight it, then paste. Uh, paste it obviously like that. I'm going to be all anal and put this exactly back where it uh, matches up to the previous one. Okay. And then go up to save. Job done. So that's now our um, personalized one okay, that you've created using that website. Now if I... Uh, Close the game. I'll, I'll reopen it. See you in the game in a moment. See that uh, new updated. Bear with me, guys. Right. Okay. So with the magic of editing, we're here. See, but uh, as you can see, got that rather uh, disgusting HUD. I've, well, my own personal opinion, pretty grim, but it's fully personalised. Um, there you go. All right. So. Um, what I will do though is show you guys my own personal HUD, the simplest one. If you like the blue colour scheme that I use on my videos, then um, I'll show you this one in a moment. Right then, yeah, so if you want uh, the same blue colour scheme that I've got, go through the same steps as before. So we go to Users, Data, Local, Underscore development, products, FDev, graphics configuration, then right click, edit, down to GUI. Now, Elite of, well, Frontier have been kind enough to actually just put a red to blue change, uh, which works perfectly for my color blindness. So all I do, copy that, highlight this, and paste. Save, close, 
and with the magic of editing, back in the video, uh, sorry, in the game, in a moment. And here we go, guys. So as you can see, we've got uh, my lovely blue color scheme. Uh, I can see that that is a, it's a friendly station ahead. See that these guys here. You a little bit more are unknowns. And yeah, so it's it, for me personally, it works great. I can see that they're whatever color they are, they're lighter and more distinct, you know, distinguished than. Uh, and well, now we're in view. I can see that they, I'm obviously uh, friends with the people here. And yeah, so for me personally, this works great. And obviously, you can make your ship look however you wish. All right, just one little thing to go into now, though. Well, there's a, f a few little weird oddities. If you do change your HUD colors, if you've bought any ship pack, uh, you know, paint packs, in the outfitting screen, colors don't match the color of the ship. It's a bit weird. By changing the color matrices, you're changing a lot more than just the HUD itself. Um, the the ship colours don't appear. But for instance, yellow I think appears either blue or green with this colour scheme. It, it, very strange. However, the ship in you know, in the game, find it about is the colour it's supposed to be. It's just a little a little thumbnail of the colours uh, are a little bit odd. It was a bit of a, a bit of an oddball thing. I can't show you this here because I'm hundreds of light years away from my home system where I've got ships where I've bought colour pack. Um, so. Bear that in mind. All right. But one last thing as well. If you do mess it up, obviously you can make a copy of the the file, uh, the configuration file, and rename it whatever you wish to, and have that as a safe uh, safe bet. But if you go into oh, let me get this up. Right. If we go into those. Right. Go into your launcher. You'll see down here, if you haven't got the game open, you'll see that in the options file you've got validate game files. If you have any problems with any of the files of the game, say you're not reading it, or if you've totally messed up your, your color scheme and you don't want to go, oh my god, I want to go back to the orange, click on the validate game files here, it will load you back into the default. Um, also, when the game updates, when Frontier release you know, the next update will go back to the default. So you have to do this steps again, your own color scheme back on. So bear that in mind, you might want to copy and paste your um, individual color matrix if you've used that website uh, into a, like a notepad file or whatever and keep that safe, so copy and paste it straight in again. Um, I'm pretty sure that's uh, most of it covered. I don't think I've missed much. Uh, if I have, let me know in the comments. Um, if you think this is handy and useful, then give me a thumbs up and a subscribe if you haven't already. If you think it's a waste of time, don't like it, or you don't like my style, give me a thumbs down. Right, let me know. Let me know in the comments. I, I, I want feedback. I like to know where I can improve. Um, I can't change my voice. I'm a smoker, so please... I had a funny comment the other day. It sounded said guy said uh, sounded like I was dying, but uh, I am still here. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> it's, all right. But thank you so much for watching. I hope this is helpful to you. And um, you fly safe out there. And if you can't do that, fly dangerous. See you later, guys. Take care.